So, so here's my question, because I've seen, frankly, the word is insanity, uh, playing out more and more. Okay, so how far down are we going to go? If Susie is three years old and she says, well, I'm a cowboy and I'm a boy, and, and dad says, no, Susie, you're, you're just playing cowboys and Indian, whatever. I mean, how far back are we going to go? We don't allow people under 18 to get tattoos or sign contracts or join the military or a host of other things. But apparently if you're three or four or five years old in California, that'll be determinative about who gets to keep custody of their children. I mean, this is jaw-dropping, isn't it? It really is. And it isn't just a custodial decision. By modifying the child welfare language, there is specifically an affirmative definition of abuse that's been modified. So naturally, when a judge is going to take this into account, if you have sort of finagled gender identity into this notion of being child abuse, no judge in their right mind is going to award even partial custody to a parent who now under California Welfare Code is going to be be essentially fitting the definition for abuse. These judges, while I've heard plenty of liberal pundits say this isn't mandatory affirmation, it's not the only thing that judges take into account, any judge in that state now at this point would essentially have their ethics and their ability to do their job called into account if they don't outright affirm the choice, not only of the child, but of the parent who says, no holds barred, I'm going to affirm the gender identity of my minor child with no modifications. There are no age limits here. It is strictly a determination that is made at some point during custodial determinations for a minor child.